Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to paint a hummingbird. Um, so basically I just drew it out um, with a watercolor pencil. You can draw it out with chalk, anything you like. Um, I like using watercolor pencils because when I put the paint on it'll dissolve into the acrylic paint that I'm using on top. But you can use whatever you like. I've started doing recently is an underpainting, and I really like how it, how the end result is. I did it with the background and the leaves, and um, I just I really recommend it. Um, if you don't know what an underpainting is, it's basically a thin, watered down layer of paint to mark out where you want your values and uh, colors to go. You don't water it down too much, just a little bit. And I have my reference picture right next to me. We're just going to water down our paint a little bit. And block in our values. Another tip is to go darker on the underpainting than what the final layer will show so your brightest colors will show up. Where I'm laying this brown down it's going to be white feathers on top. And so the brown will really help the white pop. So just keep glancing back at your reference photo. I'm not going to put this brown all over this hummingbird's body because he has a patch of green right here. And so I'm going to go in with a darker green right there. Make sure to work all around the canvas. Especially with acrylics because they dry pretty fast. I think this top part of his tail is actually green. Now with this underpainting, you don't have to blend your colors as much because you're going to paint on top of it. Again, this underpainting is just to know where your values and colors go. Keep your brush strokes going the same way. Um, so his the feathers on his wings are branching out from here, and so I want to make sure they all stay that way. Even though again this is going to be most likely covered up, it's good to know which way the feathers are going. This is actually darker underneath his wing. There's a shadow there. So we're going to darken that up a little bit. Get some values. And down here on his tail there's a bit... It's a bit darker.
There's even some dark spots over here. If you're starting to have trouble with your paint, just wet your brush a little bit. So again, this isn't going to be the final color we're going to paint on top. This is just so the brighter, lighter colors will stand out more. This is actually going to be fairly light in the end painting. some green patches in here. So he has a pink patch on his neck, so we're going to kind of paint around it. The eye will most likely be around here. I think there's actually some green up here. So I'm just blocking in some colors, where the colors would be. Alright, so now we're going to map in the pink. dry a little bit and then when we come back we'll do the second coat which is where we will start putting in the actual colors we see on the bird itself. Okay so now that it's dry it's been about five minutes I think. Um, I'm gonna take a round brush. I don't really know what size it is because it's cheap and old. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take this round brush and I'm going to start from the tail because on feathers, feathers on birds, you know, they're layered and, you know, one's on top of the other. So, it's so I'm going to start from the bottom so when I work my way up, it'll be layered like that.
if you're having trouble blending, just lightly don't press your brush all the way onto the canvas. With light pressure, just glide it across. And blending wet into wet always helps. So when the paint isn't dry, it's easy to blend as well. together yellow, a little bit of black, and white, and again we're going to start on the bottom. I actually think I need more white. So I'm just pressing my brush down and flicking it. I'm just following its body. You don't want to cover all of the underpainting you did. You just want to get your layers in. Because the underpainting will serve as shadow. brush fairly wet at all times as well. Think too much of the background is showing through or the underpainting. It's okay, we're going to add more layers in a second. So, don't touch it too much. We'll most likely fix it later. And if you need to mix more paint, mix more paint. And again with the wings, make sure they're going in the right directions. And if you don't think the shadows are dark enough, which I don't think that right here is, that's okay, we'll paint over it later. taking white and doing the same thing, just pressing down and flicking. And again, you don't want to cover all of what you just painted, you want to leave some of it showing. And if you're having trouble with that, don't like paint right on top of it, paint like next to it. That way you're not covering it all and you'll still have some showing. But 
but if you think too much of the bottom is showing, go ahead and cover it up. So now I'm going to go in with that yellow, black, and white mixture I did on the body. And so you can tell by just doing that flicky motion you get all this texture. Makes it look super fluffy. Alright, so now we're going to work on the green. So again, start from the bottom. And you don't want to cover all of the bottom layer you did. yellow and some white and now I'm making this minty color for the highlights just added some yellow to that minty color and just scattering that around a little bit now I'm adding a little bit more white So it kind of blends in all together. Now for the head. So just follow the curve of the head. Just add a little bit of white. So for his tail, it's pretty dark. I'm just going to take straight phthalo green. So my camera cut off. I don't know where it stopped. Um, I added phthalo green to the tail, and I just added yellow for the highlights. And I'm going to add more yellow and just a little bit of white.
So we're almost done. We just have to do the pink. And that'll be our hummingbird. So I'm going to take straight magenta again. And we're going to add white. And just add more white to that. In my reference photo, it actually looks like glitter on his neck. It's actually really pretty. And I think that's actually pretty good. I might add just straight white to some places. And that's how you paint a hummingbird. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll give you guys a close-up here in a second. But yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. It's really easy. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all learned something. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Also, I forgot to mention, I will have like the same type of video where I kind of talk you through how to paint and everything like I did with this one, but with the flower next week, I believe. So stay tuned for that.